Why Sequoia 30 MKI upgrade is very important to IAF. Back in the 2000s, the IAF had a clear superiority over the Pakistani Air Force PAF by every possible measure and it compensated for the Chinese Air Force's greater numbers by superior technology thanks primarily to the rapid implementation of the Su-30 MKI program. Slow and deliberate decision-making therefore did not pose any major military political risks, and it did help to keep costs under control. With the existing balance of military power and technology at the time, there was no pressing need for the Indian to rush the procurement of new planes or the upgrades of the existing ones, so its relaxed approach was entirely rational. Now, however, the situation is completely different. Pakistan has received up-to-date versions of America's F-16 fighters and dozens of the Chinese Pakistani FC-1 planes. What was once India's complete dominance over the Pakistani Air Force has become the mere superiority. In fact, Pakistan may well achieve mere parity over time if it receives J-10 fighters from China as well as the J-31, the quasi fifth generation fighter now being developed by the Chinese. Such near parity between the IAF and the PAF would be completely unprecedented. The power balance with the Chinese Air Force is an even greater worry for India. In the 1990s and early 2000s China bought 76 Su-27 UBK fighters and 100 Su-30 MKK fighters from Russia. It quickly built another 105 Su-27 SK planes under Russian license, and then launched production of its own clones of these planes without bothering with a license. All of these planes represented early 1980s technology, but now China is about to start receiving the latest Russian Su-35 fighters. It is also working on its own quasi fifth generation fighter programs. As a result, the Chinese Air Force will catch up with the Indian Air Force in terms of technology, while also maintaining its impressive numerical superiority. India's old defense procurement model, in which 7 to 10 years is required merely to prepare a contract, has therefore become obsolete and unsustainable. There is a pressing need for speeding up the Su-30 MKI program in order to restore the Indian Air Force's technological superiority over the Chinese. Essentially, India needs to pull off the same trick it did in the mid-1990s when it responded to China's mass procurement of Su-27 fighters with the original Su-30 MKI program. Two decades on, India needs to respond to China's Su-35 and J-31 jets. With the Sukhoi Super-30. Finally, the most realistic option that would deliver great returns in terms of the plane's capability without costing too much or taking too much time sits somewhere in the middle. It includes a deep upgrade of the plane's N011M VARS radar and most importantly, its passive phased array radar would be replaced with an active electronically scanned array AESA radar integration of the latest Russian and Indian made electronics, optics and infrared systems without modifications to the airframe. When the Su-30 MKI specifications were being drawn up, the Indian military came up with an extremely well-balanced set of requirements for the new plane. Those requirements were at the cutting edge. 